Passed out man gets robbed twice. Police officer chased by planet. Congrats, we have pregnant man emojis. Candle thief uses bear spray to incapacitate dozens. Ooh, that burns. A turtle got stuck to an owl. What the shell? It turns out crossword puzzles are super bigoted. Who knew? And guess who brought an accordion? All this and more on The Bee Weekly. Why does the Babylon Bee keep quoting Chesterton? G.K. Chesterton. Learn more about the man with the great quotes, G.K. Chesterton, at the Chesterton Conference hybrid event this July 29th, 30th, and 31st in Chicago. Know nothing about Chesterton? This is the best place to start, with talks, books, and conversations to help you discover your new favorite author. And the Babylon Bee's own CEO, Seth Dillon, is keynote speaker Thursday night. So don't miss this opportunity to learn more about the wit and wisdom of the man the Babylon Bee most admires. Uh, except for Jesus, G.K. Chesterton. Register now to attend in person or online at chesterton.org slash conference. Babylon B fans, you can use the code the B25 discount code. That's the B25 discount code. Use the B25 discount code to get a discount. So forget about the normal B Weekly theme song, everyone. Here's the actual B Weekly theme song from our new friend, Kristen Weber. All right. And she has an accordion. I guess. This is the new uh, weekly theme song. Yes. We'll see if you can hear my voice over the accordion. It goes, <clears throat> written six hours ago. The Babylon Bee brings satire to you and me. So spot on you'll, uh, so, sorry. So spot on you'll slap your knee with glee. So fake it's real, so real it's fake, leaving all the woke tears in its wake. The Babylon Bee, it's fake news you can count on. <laughs> Cheers! All right. I feel like you need like one of those like a slide whistle at the end. <laughs> That's right. You need to bust out leader hosen for that one. It's gonna be stuck in my head all day. Though. Yeah, I'm not allowed back in that Airbnb though. <laughs> the jingle, uh, it's fake news. You can count on that's. Yeah. That's fake. That's catchy. Yeah. That's catchy. That is catchy. I want to hear like a whole pub full of like German guys singing that song. Yes, that needs to happen. <laughs> We can make that happen next time. We need time. more Babylon Bee sea shanties is what we need right. in, in life. All right, everyone. This is the Babylon Bee Weekly where we talk uh, about all kinds of crazy stuff that happened this week and just hang out and have fun. Yeah, we do. And who's this? Oh, there's someone here. Kristen <laughs> Weber is with us. She's a, a comedian, an accordion player, mm -hmm. sometimes both, and an author of Adulting for Jesus. Not to be confused with adultery for Jesus. That's right. Or Don't auditing get that for book. Jesus. <laughs> Somebody thought it was auditing for Jesus, if you look at it that real quick. Be... <laughs> I was like, well, that would be a useful book, too. <laughs> Doing taxes to the yeah. glory of God. But you don't want a comedian. Auditing for Jesus. Yeah, there you go. Speaking into your tax life. It could be. I'm sure that would sell. Uh, that could yeah. be a Dave Ramsey thing. Uh, a book about purpose, trust in God, and obviously burritos. Yes. That was That's my, my favorite part. Was, yeah. yeah. The burritos. And dress my food idolatry. So we'll talk more about your book, you, your accordion, your life. But first, weird news. Let's do it. This news is weird. <laughs> Brooklyn man passes out outside his apartment late at night and is robbed not just once, but twice. <laughs> I'm not laughing. It's was not he funny. rich guy? Was he like the mop Monopoly guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think that wouldn't the first guy get enough... Like, what did he have left after the first robbing? Maybe he had so much stuff in his pockets, the guy had to make two trips. That's like my pockets sometimes. Oh, okay. So it says someone someone took his laptop. Ooh. And then another man took his phone and wallet. Mm. That's just beating him while he's down. Yeah. But why did he fall asleep on the front stoop of his apartment building? I'm guessing either drugs or alcohol. Yeah, does it say in here? It seems like... That's uh, just glossed over. This is totally glossed over in the story. It's like, a man who fell asleep yeah, on his As porch, one does. As one does from time yeah. to time. <laughs> and happened to have his laptop with him yeah, on this like, bender or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's just going down the YouTube rabbit hole every now and then you just keep passing yeah. out. Like, oh, oh, look, But why is he pool. sitting on the porch? I'm, yeah, you're sitting on the porch. You're enjoying a nice, cool night. Yeah. And then you just... <laughs> fall asleep. It's completely glossed over in the story. They don't even try to explain it. They don't even explain why he fell explain. asleep. He just fell asleep on his front stoop around 4.30 a.m. Hmm. A short time later, someone took his messenger bag containing a laptop. Wow. Don't fall asleep on your porch, especially if you have a laptop on you. 
That's the moral of the story. Yeah. It seemed, that seems unwise. Should we do an accordion song about falling asleep with your laptop? I don't know. I wanted a song for every, Give me every three single minutes. thing. <laughs> 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 you just play. We'll make up words. Don't fall asleep on your porch with a have a laptop. Those laptops are expensive and you shouldn't leave them out. Leave them out. <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> A uh, police officer calls for support after being pursued by drone that was actually a planet. <laughs> so, okay, I got to figure this out. A Scottish police officer I left a Glasgow police station. <laughs> so this Scottish police officer is like, <laughs> a drone is following me. Ah, uh, it, oh, it's a planet. I don't know. Is that? Uh, on Tuesday, when she noticed an object, oh, it's a she. Hey. A drone is following me. Ah. An object in the sky was following her. But she's calling this on the radio. There's a drone. She tried to lose what she thought was a drone. She's like weaving down streets, <laughs> doing cookies. <laughs> but she couldn't escape this thing. And after a drawn out pursuit, like how long? I don't know. She sought help from senior officers who told her the drone was just Jupiter. It's a planet as old as the sky. <laughs> It's, it's uh, some 365 million miles away. So she was slightly off in her assessment of what was... Ch how do you think Jupiter's chasing you? Is Jupiter really close to Scotland? I don't know how... Well, it's like, you know, when you're driving in the car as a kid or you're, you're riding in the back as a kid and you see the moon. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's following you. Yeah, because you can... So she sees the bright star in the sky. You know, Jupiter so she looks just like thinks that sky star? Sky she but isn't there other stars in the sky? Does she think that it's well, an army of them? You know, t depending on... on when what time of year it is or whatever the planets are much brighter than the stars so she just sees this bright light and right. she thinks it's following her huh so i wasn't there i can't i can't judge and uh so yeah so give me like a scottish accordion song about being chased by a drone <laughs> that's planet by jupiter. i'm being yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm being chased by a drone named jupiter jupiter <laughs> jupiter <laughs> but my eyesight's really swell <laughs> really swell <laughs> 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 I don't need glasses, don't need glasses. <laughs> I don't know who is stupid or stupid or the guy on the porch or the lady in the car. Thinking that was Jupiter. <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> All right. All right, here, here's story three. All right. Oklahoma woman arrested after commenting on police department's Facebook post concerning shootings she was involved in. So on Wednesday, the Tulsa Police Department uh, posted on Facebook that Lorraine Graves was wanted in connection to the murder of Eric Graves, who was shot earlier this year. After the Facebook post went up, Graves responded by commenting, what's where's the reward money at? So she commented on she her own commented. post saying, so, we are looking for Lorraine Graves. And it says, Lorraine Graves, what's where yes. that reward money at? What's where's the reward money at? <laughs> what, what's where's... Because if it's greater than the bail money, then she was going to maybe turn a profit, I guess. So she was going to start off saying, what's yeah, the reward? I don't yeah. understand her comment. Yeah. And then she changed it and forgot to backspace. That's usually what I do. Yes. She was in a hurry, probably. Then they tracked her down. Yeah. On Thursday yeah. afternoon, they tracked her down and arrested her in North Tulsa. But my favorite part of this is if you click on the little link you sent, the picture yeah, her of her. She looks in prison so in joyful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she looks very happy with... Uh, how things turned out. What would be? Sorry, I'm treat. I keep trying to use your accordion for things. I want show the picture of her in the jail cell, and then the song that would be playing with that facial expression. Can you do that mm. real quick? Yeah. Sort of like a sad trombone, but kind of like a this is like, like a stinger on a sitcom. Like she's sitting in the. Oh yeah, can you do a? Can you, <laughs> probably probably can't do a Kirby enthusiasm theme. <laughs> bum, 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 ba -da 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 -da. I don't know that I can oh, play that by ear. <laughs> Just by about singing. To see how terrible got, okay, get ready. Get the photo ready, guys. Where's the photo? It'll. We'll edit it on. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Perfect. It's kind of whimsical and eerie at the same time. <laughs> so I'm looking at her comment. What's where's the reward money at? It's like she's offended that there wasn't any reward offered for her capture. Is that the idea? She's like, I guess. Yeah. They're not, oh, she wants worth, to know where's am I worth? What am I worth? The original yeah. post, they just say, "Hey, anybody knows where this girl is? Uh, <laughs> let us know." She's like, oh, "No, no reward money." You know, like, come on, she want to be worth something. Liver? <laughs> she needed to commit a bigger crime. I thought she was thinking she could get it, but yeah, you're right. She was offended that they weren't offering a bigger, like, or at least something. 
to catch her. Mm. Well, where's the reward money at? Where? What where's the reward? What's what's where's? <laughs> what where's? What's where's you're, Waldo? You're forgetting a key part of that grammar. <laughs> <What's> the... <laughs> so perfect. Hey, are you guys ready for pregnant man emojis? I know I am. They don't look like they're enjoying being pregnant. They look like they're <laughs> like it looks like this picture above the picture the caption could say diarrhea is like a storm raging inside you and then you look at the guy he's like <laughs> he does look like he ate like a giant burrito huge burrito it could I heard also he regretted every bit of it be a beer gut emoji beer gut <laughs> like how do we know the difference it does look like a beer for gut guys emoji. oh god yeah. <laughs> i immediately yeah, you combine regret. that with a toilet emoji <laughs> mm-hmm. enough said I regret drinking that 36 pack of Keystone Light. <laughs> He's just, like, ah. just to escape that ATV. Also, why That's the mustache? After, last week. That's a yeah, the mustache. Little... I throw the mustache in. It's just yeah. a very strange. It's so you know it's a guy. Like Tom Selleck. Okay. I don't know. It's very strange. Girls Because he mustaches. has moves, too. A little bit of mm-hmm. moves. Yeah, they're trying to make him look glowing and joyful. Like if you see like... like <laughs> Is that supposed to be? You know, like the, the pregnant woman. It's oh, like, like yeah. oh, my God. But, she, but he's just like, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that we have more inclusion. There's no accordion emoji yet, though, which is when hmm. there peak isn't? inclusion will That's very sad. be achieved. Uh, yeah, so pregnant... Yeah, yeah, what else can you say? Emoji. I'm, uh, I'm sure we'll be using that a lot. I, I'm willing to bet that like 99.99999% of the uses of this emoji is entirely ironic. Right. Like who is actually using this emoji? Well, plus emojis are to convey emotion. And so I don't understand all these ones that have all these. Yeah, emojis. it's like burrito or whatever. Oh, like man, I feel, I feel just like a pregnant man right now. <laughs> but, <laughs> boom. <so. laughs> just what I would use that. I would eat one of those. Like one time I had this burrito place in, in Portland that I really liked. And I was feeling extremely gluttonous that night. And I was like, I'm going to order two burritos. So I ordered, which is way too much. One's, they're big, like the size of a newborn baby. And so... Uh, I do compare of, all my food to I ordered two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, they accidentally gave me a third. And in one of my highest moments of gluttony, I ate all three. And this is the emoji I would use. <laughs> if I said, should not have eaten three burritos from Los Dos Amigos. And here it is. It's the patron emoji of digestive regret. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, a New Jersey woman has been fighting the IRS for seven years to prove that she's alive. It seems easy to prove, usually. 25-year-old Samantha Dressig says she has been trying for years to undo an administrative mix-up that declared her dead to the IRS and caused tax problems for her father. She speculates that the administrative mistake happened in 2014, She attempted to file her taxes in that year, which was the same year her mother died, but was unable to. She does not share the same first or last name with her mother. Hmm. So it looks like it's ongoing. She's still trying. It's ongoing. She's still trying. She can't just go to the IRS and be like, check my pulse. Or just take a basic Facebook video. Wouldn't you want to be dead to the IRS? Yeah, isn't that good? (laughs) (laughs) Maybe it causes issues, though. Is it frozen? I don't know. I would... I would just stop paying your taxes and they'll acknowledge that you're yeah, still alive. Well, I, I know they like automatically shut all your accounts down when you when you're reported dead, so that could be an issue. Mm. And that happened to my stepmom. My my dad recently passed and like suddenly all these accounts that his name was on just like boom, just shut down. So hmm. that could be a problem. Mm. Yeah, that would be a problem. So she has to just keep all her money under her mattress. I would just if any IRS agents are watching, I'm dead. Help her out. No, I'm dead. Oh. I don't he's dead. Know, then to know. <laughs> okay. I'm, you're dead to me, and I'm dead to you. All right. All right. Oh, I like this one. Oh, boy. Suspected candle thief in Florida injures dozens of people with bear spray during his escape. <laughs> so Dwight Schrute was candle shopping. At large. Um, a man in Florida escaped from a Bath and Body Works store with stolen candles on Saturday by spraying everyone in his way with bear repellent. <laughs> <laughs> At least how many people are trying to stop him? I know. Drop I'm, those candles. I've never seen that many people in a bath That's and like body works either. And people diving to tackle him, and he's like dodging them. Yeah. <laughs> Shea butter and warm ginger is my favorite scent. He could have also <laughs> injured them with bath and body work spray. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Cucumber melon has a kick to it. Um, <laughs> at least thirty people required treatment Jeez. for their injuries. 
about 15 of them being employees of the store. That is the most well-employed so store like, right now. So that's like in The Matrix when he's fighting all those Agent Smiths all yeah. at once. It's just all these yeah. Bath and Body Works <laughs> guys coming at me. <laughs> <laughs> With the slow motion, like backwards. Fifteen Bath and Body Works employees. <laughs> they were just lined 15? up. Wow. Or did he run around the store spraying them? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just want to know how this happened. Uh, one person had to be taken to the hospital after taking a direct hit of the spray to the face. Damn. Police said each sickened person could be considered a victim of aggravated battery, and the suspect is potentially looking at thirty to thirty-five felonies. Wow. The suspect was last seen leaving the mall in a taxi, so clearly he thought through his escape plan. Did he get the candles? It Sounds doesn't like. say. I, I'm going to Have they caught guess, him? I don't know. All these details we need. Yeah, we're, we're missing a good part of the story. It says he was last seen escaping in a taxi, so. This yeah. is like. Um, so they're still looking for him. This is the There's plot. no update on the story. So 30 to 35 felonies for a eucalyptus spearmint candle. Yeah. Sounds <laughs> worth it to me. I don't know. I had to say what candles he no, took. I, I no. Well, at least we have our plot for the next Oceans. Because you can't carry that Heist many movie. candles unless he's got a shopping cart full of them. Yeah. Oh, they have like the little baskets at Bath and Body Works. I'm going to guess neither yeah, of you guys baskets. frequent Bath Wait, and Body I, Works. Wait, I always get this mixed up. Is I get it mixed up with Bed, Bath, Bed, and, Bath and Beyond. Bed, Bath and Beyond. That's what yeah. I was picturing. That's what yeah. I was picturing. That's not that. Bath and Body Works is geared more toward like the middle school. Uh, yeah, like scent okay. profiles. <laughs> when I was like in junior high, all the girls wore like the fruit spray from that, that is, place, and yes. it would just like destroy your. Yes. So here at Bed Bath and Beyond, exactly. and that you can get the candles in, I guess, bed, and then bath. You might get like a hand soap, but then in Beyond, you can get bear spray. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly. Quite like the Beyond. Yeah. yeah. They need to do scented bear spray is what they do and just combine everything into one super product. <laughs> Campfire marshmallow. <laughs> Seven in one product. Or salmon like and then this bear will yeah. run away. Well, they're supposed to, they're supposed to hate it. What, what oh, never mind. Yeah, that's hate? right. That would attract it. Yeah. It'd be counterintuitive. <laughs> Clearly, I've not been around many Human bears. joy. Is bear spray like a, like a jet stream or is it like an aerosol can? I, I think, think it's you more light, of a stream. I think you can light the candle and like... <laughs> We'll do yeah, does light, it light? Blowtorch thing. You can try it. I think it's it probably just a stream of liquid. It's not going to work. Hmm. Sad. Well, um, good job, candle ma- candle job. thief. I love the idea that they're candle thieves, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Going to resell them for $9. Animal control officers untangle owl and turtle <laughs> that are stuck <laughs> together in Virginia. Romantic. So they got a call about an owl in a resident's backyard that couldn't fly, and a deputy animal control officer investigated, and the owl had a claw clamp between the turtle's top and bottom shell. And he's completely <laughs> stuck to the turtle. <laughs> Is it, can turtles clamp their shells like a, like a bear trap? They're just like, come on in. Yeah, you're <laughs> stuck. <Yeah. laughs> like a clam. Uh, I like this quote. This was a first for our animal control team. An owl and a turtle stuck together? AWL Arlington tweeted with a link to a TikTok video of the team's separation of the animals. Jump online, you can see that video. I'm looking at Are you watching it? (laughs) (laughs) I didn't watch it. You gotta think that owl is questioning its life. Yeah, when you've never seen a turtle, then you find out they exist. Do owls? That's weird enough. Do they eat turtles? Probably was trying to eat it. Or like probably saw it move and like swoop down. There's something. Yeah. I assume that they, they say these birds can see so far, but I think they can just see something. They don't know specifically what they're looking at. Yeah. So they just dive for it. Yeah. And nobody would assume you get stuck in a turtle. You wouldn't assume I wouldn't so. assume that. Mm-mm. I wouldn't assume so either. Uh, last story is yours, Kyle. <laughs> Idaho men <laughs> pass giant ball 356 <laughs> times in three minutes for a world record. All right. Good job, Idaho men. <laughs> a pair of Idaho men teamed up to break the Guinness <laughs> World Record by passing a giant inflatable ball between them 356 times in three minutes. It broke the previous record of 180 passes. Wow. The duo previously passed it. the inflatable ball between them 4,169 times in a row to break the overall record for most consecutive passes. Good job. <laughs> so that's like without dropping it or something? How it's close together were they? See, that's what's so dumb about this. <laughs> <laughs> How big is the ball? How clo- you know, World's like, longest game of hot potato. It's just, it's ridiculous. Hmm. That's a big jump, though, in numbers from 180 to yeah, three. Yeah, and were they that's just the other like, thing. Like, what are they, did we, did we check yeah, to make like sure they were Yeah, it's like other records, they beat it by point, point two seconds or something. Yeah. 
that's why it's not a legitimate record. If the previous record you <laughs> double it, it's not like a real sport that a bunch of people are competing in. Like if, if when, when somebody breaks like the sprinting world record or something, it's like point oh 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 two. This one's like, oh yeah, we like tripled it. No problem. Getting them going. This is uh, gonna keep going. you up at night, isn't it? It does. It drives me bananas. <laughs> they don't win anything. They don't get money. Yeah. Well, well, they did get a news story. They so they'll use it to like raise money for some charity cause. Oh, let's <laughs> save the children or whatever. It's like, gosh. <laughs> Women should be saved for legitimate reasons. Exactly. I don't want no charity from beat this a, Beat a legitimate world record if you're going to save children. Yes. Thank you. All right. All right. Well. Hey, you know, some blue checks said some stuff this week. Let's see what they said. Real things that blue checks say. Ooh, d and I'm excited about this one. I like Dungeons and Dragons. Hmm. So they've released, a, or they're, uh, they're going to release a new uh, source book where you can play a campaign, and this is a fun, exciting fantasy campaign. You're playing Dungeons and Dragons. You know, usually you're fighting dragons and, and exploring dungeons. In this one, you, you, you go to prom. You go to prom. <laughs> yeah. And in so, the photo, it looks like you go to prom with James Cameron's avatar. And you get to date blue elves, and uh, you get to go to class. So I was reading about the source book, and it has like rules for you can roll dice to see how well you did on a test in college, and you can roll dice to see how good how good your grades are. <laughs> it's like what are we doing, people? <laughs> what? I don't understand. I never understood Dungeons and Dragons. I really don't know. So. Has it come full circle when you start role playing just normal things? Yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. like at what point we're, we're pretending s- to play a game? We're in so deep that like making <laughs> breakfast is now considered fantasy. <laughs> hey, oh, and that's a, fun. An older Atlantic article started making the rounds again. Culture, the hidden bigotry of crosswords. So crosswords are. It says, it says the popular puzzles are largely written and edited by old white men who dictate what makes it into the grid and what is kept out. I just, I don't know where this goes, but I have a picture of like a, a guy in a KKK hood yeah, doing the, the crosswords. Yeah, the crossword puzzles. <laughs> He's like creating the crosswords. <laughs> like, wait, have we, no, have we been ordering our crosswords from KK crosswords? <laughs> Suspect. So. What do, what do they do? Like, how do you get like a certain answer that, like, does it say like, uh, uh, people who shouldn't ride in the front of a bus? And then like, there's a blank that says, you know, it's, uh, it spells out. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be bigoted to get the answer. Yeah. I'm not saying I think that. If I was a KKK crossword puzzle maker, I'd think that. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'm saying like the, the hint. Right. right. The hint would have to be something really racist, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or it would be like, yeah, the only good race skin the only good yeah. skin color is and you're like, wait a minute, I think five letters the KKK. <laughs> <laughs> they took our jobs and then it's like What's that saying? Yeah. yeah. Immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well, watch out for crossword puzzles if you want to avoid bigotry. It's everywhere. All right. CNBC defended inflation with this galaxy brain take. Mm. Do you In- know what a galaxy brain take is? Sure don't. I'm okay. not a... I have no yeah, idea a what a galaxy thing, brain take is, but it, like, I feel smart. like it belongs... Super smart. With- super smart okay. brain take. Oh, I was going to assume it was belonged with that first headline. Like out of this D&D. world. Yeah. Like a Revelation. galaxy brain. Your brain is as large as a galaxy. Oh. I'm a galaxy okay. brain. Okay. I'm too dumb for headlines, I guess. Yeah. Um, Correct. No, also, I'm a girl. <laughs> um, I demand splendor. Inflation silver lining. Higher salaries. There you go. So we can afford to pay for our $15 loaf of bread. <laughs> so the salaries are higher because money is worth less? Yeah. As inflation takes hold, wages may increase too. So yeah. that's good. Silver lining. That mm, is how I keep lining. track of inflation as I look at the candy bar <laughs> prices at the checkout stands. Because they were like four for a dollar when I was a kid. And now it's like two for uh, two dollars <laughs> or something like that. So whatever so be percentage like, that is. Like if you go to one of those countries where like a dollar is like six billion yeah. whatever's. I mean, we make six billion dollars an hour. Yeah, it's here. like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving to Cuba is silver lining yeah. or whatever, wherever it is. Yeah. Higher. <laughs> I assume Cuba. I don't know. Communist. Venezuela, uh, Zimbabwe. Yeah. Zimbabwe is oh, yeah, like billions. A little silver lining. The one I, the place I, I always noticed. Pay raise. The place I always noticed inflation is the uh, uh, ninety nine cent store. Hmm. So when I was growing up, you could get like you could go get like a nice pair of headphones. You know, oh, ninety nine yeah. cents. 
we used to get like our TV antennas there when you, you had the bunny ears. We mm-hmm. could buy a new TV antenna there for an antenna. And now they do like the trick where it's like it not it's not actually ninety nine cents. You know they'll, they'll yeah it's like five. They'll they'll put like special item five dollars. Yeah, you know it's like well, I thought everything was ninety nine cents, but they don't. They like now they'll. It's like a multiple of ninety nine cents. Yeah, <laughs> ninety nine cents times three yeah. for this item for five ninety nine cents. You yeah, can get five. you can get one fifth of this for ninety nine cents for five easy payments of ninety nine yeah. cents. Right. You can have this. So <laughs> it's very sad. Uh, so an MSNBC contributor complained that the new movie Dune doesn't have people of color. And to prove this, he shared a picture of all the posters that have mostly people of color. Mm. So. <laughs> a movie about a desert, desert planet in space that features no dark-skinned people of any nationality? Hard pass. And like Jason Momoa is on there. He's like, what, Pacific Islander or something? Right? Does he count? Oh, he said, absolutely. Jason Momoa? He feels like he doesn't count, like kind of like The Rock doesn't count. The Rock totally counts. Does he count, though? He feels, he gets... It doesn't feel like he counts. I don't know why. Why, why wouldn't he count? He's just, he just ha- ha- doesn't have enough. He's not hard ethnic enough. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan is sounding very racist. Do you write crossword puzzles on the side, Ethan? I just mean if I was trying to earn points, so I, I wouldn't go for the rock or Momoa. I'd go for somebody more, you know, that has more of an accent so, or so something. So this guy was going and defending his position after. He's like, he's like, well, yeah, there are people of color, but they're not dark-skinned enough. So he's saying, he was going if on you live like, on a desert planet, you're all no one's there's gonna be no white people up there, right? But but most but the thing about Dune is that's the whole point is that there's these white people coming to take over. Oh, they came they're, from off the planet. Yeah. Oh, so they're from the. It, it, it's like a whole book about colonialism. That's the whole point of the book. So of course they're gonna be white. So the people on the sand planet, are there people there? Yeah, and they're darker skinned. Oh, what? Hmm. Yeah. So he just had nothing. They're like Arabic. They're like, you know, it's a whole like allegory for... Just learn your dune, bro. Yeah, learn your dune, man. <laughs> Educate yourself. <laughs> so anyway, go see dune. Okay. If you're a racist. Um, so this is the Palmer Report declaring, place unvaccinated people under house arrest until the pandemic is over. If they don't like it, they can get vaccinated. Problem solved. <laughs> I like when people do declare some wild thing and they're yeah. like, problem solved. <laughs> they're like, simple people. Police state, problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, I'm sure I'm sure Hitler said similar things. <laughs> Just get rid of all the Jews, problem solved. <laughs> Kill everyone who disagrees with me. Problem, problem solved. solved. <laughs> Lock up everybody I don't like and disagree with. Problem, problem solved. solved. <laughs> <laughs> The bee or not the bee? That is the question I ask myself every morning as I drink from my the bee or not the bee mug. Now you too can drink from this amazing coffee cup and ask yourself the same question. Which is better? It's so hard to decide. In fact, I would say it's absolutely the Babylon Bee, but not the bee is pretty cool too. Enjoy this mug. Well, speaking of solving problems, we're Mm going to solve some problems with an accordion now. So Yeah. I'm just going to commit to wearing this. Do you have any favorite my... accordion songs you want to share with us? We got one. What's your hit? My my hit? Or you want to do an improv? What's your hit? What should we do? My hit? Yeah. Um, do you I have a polka, like a weird owl? Parodies. Okay. Can, I, can I do parodies without getting you guys into more legal trouble than you are? I don't know in? if the algorithm will catch the parody yeah, on probably. the accordion. You're probably probably okay. Good. Yeah. Do you want a parody about masks? Sure. Yeah, we're all, yeah. You guys like you masks, tell me. Right? We like masks. Sure. Sure. All right. So here's. Do we need to wear masks? I got to do it while I can because masks are going away, which is. I know. Great. I mean, they'll, they're coming back too, though. That's I, true. I don't think they'll ever really go away. They'll uh, they'll come back into style, I'm sure. Let's yeah, see. LA just There's like Charlton Heston mask people that are like, take it from my gold, my cold dead face. <laughs> I'll wear go. it forever. Let's see. All right. This is my mask parody. Okay. Let's see if you recognize the song. Yeah. I'm going to take. My mask to the grocery store so the Rona won't spread no more. 
gonna wear my mask at the grocery store Cause if I don't then I can't shop there no more There's a one-way arrow there but ain't nobody care Some wear their mask below their nose so you better say a prayer Some think this tiny cloth protects me, others say that's fetching far But I'ma play it safe and wear it in my car Graphs they don't tell me nothing Graphs they don't tell me nothing Graphs they don't tell me nothing they're just weird and confusing Yeah, I'm gonna take my mask to the grocery store I think you're smiling at me, but I can't tell for sure I'm gonna wear my mask at the grocery store Then burn them all in, come it is no more There you go, thank you That's great. Thank you There we go It's a sample of what most of my stuff is oh, You hit all the stuff, the guy in the car with his mask on Yeah the arrows. The arrows. Those went away, at least in Georgia. I started going I to a gym, and there's like a whole wall around the whole gym area. And there's a little tiny door on this side and a little tiny door on that side. And it says enter only on one and exit only on the other. But there's no reason. It's like a, one of their COVID things. They got little blue arrows going around like people have to follow. Like literally nobody listens to these. <laughs> It's just, I think it's just to say if COVID breakout happens, they go, we have the signs and arrows, nobody listens. Yeah. I know yeah. somebody who got a, a mask to wear to his gym because you had to wear a mask going and then leaving. So you got a mask going, COVID going in, COVID going out, no COVID working out. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd wear it to the gym. That's a crack up about yeah. at a restaurant. Like you're in the line and everybody around you is eating without masks on. And mm -hmm. somehow well, you have to have the mask on right there in that line. Like... Yeah, we were at a restaurant in Nashville. And they're like, "Hey, mask on in the line." So they gave, gave us masks. masks. They gave us masks. Yeah. And, and Seth, our CEO, was like, "No." And so we're just ordering. <laughs> and then she's like, "She's like phoning she's the." She's like, out, yeah. she, They get masks. And here, you have to put. And these they on. had signs everywhere like uh, "stand and mask." So like, yeah, you can sit at your table, but then the moment you stand, <laughs> the mask goes on. Mask yeah. goes on. <laughs> but then, are you really going to fight with a sixteen-year-old working? There yeah, I feel sorry. She's the, just being told what to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's the yeah. other weird thing. It's like it's not their fault. Yeah. That's how I got here. Now that the lockdowns are ending, there's most restaurants are like just normal now. And then a lot of chains are just playing it safe. So then you'll suddenly walk into like Chick-fil-A was like, it's like walking into a museum of COVID history because <laughs> there's like a little table at the front of the door. No one can go in. The lady is like out there like taking notes on a notebook to get your order or whatever. And it's just like. Yeah, come on. Come on. Now, is, are you, is your one restaurant doing this, like saving all of us when we're all going out and just being normal everywhere else? Yeah, it's going to feel weird because I, I feel like I haven't worn a mask in months. And I'm, I have to get, you know, I'm going go on an airplane next month. I'm going to get on and just be like the whole. Uh, back of the mask on the airplane. Whole, yeah. Bring a I'm lot of snacks. That's what I've noticed. Yeah, just the very slow yeah. bag of Cheetos is, yeah. the, is the strategy. Savor each bite. Yeah, I wonder what the, the people that work on airplanes are the most Karen like of. Enforcers, it seems like, like oh, they are yeah. hardcore. I wonder like why. You have like a yeah. two-year-old in their mask, and so like, get that kid's mask on, or we're going to stop the plane, we're going to get you off, we're going to call the air marshal. Yeah, every time I've been on a flight, like throughout the flight, they're going like, they're hardcore. Oh, just a reminder, your mask goes over your nose as well. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> your nose also breathes, in case you're wondering. <laughs> you idiot. So what? Um, what, so who are you? What decisions? <laughs> did, I ask myself every day. <laughs> so like, what decisions did you make that in question. life that led yeah, How do you, you end up uh, of all the instruments? This. Accordion. Um, the accordion. I grew up in purity culture, so. Uh, I'm not seeing <laughs> the, so that's like your, your, <laughs> you your got promise it. ring. Uh, yeah, it's more effective than a promise ring. Uh, yeah, it's a modern day chest. Okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> my parents, we were we were homeschooled, and my parents were like that. Well, uh, will, will be what my children play. <laughs> My daughters play. I know Dennis Prager. Have you heard his little story about he plays accordion? No, I didn't know that. He said that his parents said he have to you have to take a music lesson. Mm -hmm. which I think is a good rule for kids learn some music. So he just yeah. went into the you know alphabetically with the first thing was and he said oh accordion all right <laughs> fine accordion <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> I didn't know that that's funny is that the first alphabetical instrument now I'm wondering mm -hmm. um, AC it's possible double C that was pretty early of on every musical instrument. instrument I'm sure there's a Wikipedia but this was also back in when he was a kid so there's only like eight instruments at that time that's true. <laughs> There were only three. It was that or the harpsichord <laughs> <laughs> or the bagpipes probably. Oh, it has to be alphabetical though. Um, a cordina. Afghani guitar. 
Yeah. Algoza. Is that like so a guitar with done, a blanket attached to it? He could have done Afghani guitar, yeah, guitar or Algoza, but I think he had to be, he was in the right country probably. Because yeah. on Wikipedia, even those instruments don't even have a link to what the heck they are. It's just said. And Acordina is listed before. Oh, you're accordion. on a different list. Is that a than female accordion? Acordina. Yeah. Well, if you if you go to the Wikipedia <laughs> list, they they sort it by is category you, of instrument. A female accordion acordina. player is an acordina. An acordina. A dungu? Nope, that's not too far. Yep. Dungu. <laughs> a dungu. That sounds like a uh, accordina. Like a like a Pokemon character. Oh, okay. So, okay, I'm looking at a video of uh, the acordina. What is it? Accordina. Accordina. It looks like you blow into it. It looks like a computer keyboard, but it has a little, like, a breathalyzer thing that you... Oh. Let's do, look, yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks like you're, like, blowing into an abacus or something. Yeah, or, yeah. like, a dot matrix, like, the very first keyboard IBM yeah. came out with. <laughs> well, that's cool. Okay. I guess. I'm going to have to add that to my repertoire. So, uh, you, you were on Mike Huckabee's show. I yeah, sure was, was. How does his breath smell? Um, honestly, I didn't get that close oh. to him. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll report back, uh, if I ever do the show again. Yeah. I didn't realize that was an interest to people, yeah. what his breath smelled like, or I would have paid closer attention, but. All right, we're moving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's sorry. I was it, it, sets, it sets the ambrosia of the environment feeling of okay. what you like being around. Any scents, any smells. Yeah. I didn't notice anything a foul. Mm. Uh, okay. <laughs> that could no be good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This was a pleasant you could smell like man, a nice Bath so. and Body Works candle or something. Yeah. <laughs> didn't, choose on didn't candles. smell like a thousand wishes. <laughs> um, <laughs> like a thousand. Is that a candle? That is a, that's one of Bath and Body Works signature oh, okay. scents. A, a thousand, thousand wishes. wishes. Wow. One no of idea. the first ones. to be in that writer's room. I wish yeah. I had better money to afford nicer cologne or perfume. <laughs> so if the Babylon Bee doesn't work out, we could name, we could just name candles. We could get hired at yeah. Bath and Body to just name candles. Yeah. Like you just have to think of good things that make you feel good. Yeah. And like maybe mix it with a fruit or a leaf of some kind. Yeah. So like it feels good to be open minded. Okay. So like tolerance tea leaf tolerance yeah. woke candles. Well, they, they always add they always add end warm ginger to everything now. <laughs> end warm like, ginger. Tolerance and warm ginger. <laughs> mm. <laughs> no, the ginger's warm. Makes it, yeah, to me that feels like someone is holding it in their hand real tight for a long time and they handed it to you. you know, why is this ginger warm? <laughs> Soggy ginger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like a toilet seat that someone else just used. So is Mike Huckabee nice? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, well, he wasn't like a huge jerk. No, like off he's, camera, he's, he's like, a very, very face. down to earth person. Okay. As far as in That's this in this industry where I'm you can wondering. meet some, no, he's very down to earth. Okay, yeah, I I like him. He's he's a good dude. Cool. I have no dirt to report. Do you have any uh, crazy stories from doing accordion shows all over the world, um, or in the United States, or wherever you do them? Uh, crazy stories. Well, the like accordion mess, is or more its own embarrassing crazy. stories, or like you just. You just know. cool stories. Tell yeah, us a cool story. Anything. It's a, a cool story. story. Yeah, a cool story. Uh, yeah, I can share the one. Uh, I was telling Dan, um, a lady came up to me because I joke, like I have the accordion and then I joke about like it being the reason I'm still single and mm -hmm. all this stuff. So this lady came up to me after a show one time and she was like, oh, I know you joke about it, but is getting married something you want? And I was like, sure, like eventually maybe. And she was like, no, no, no. If you want to get married now, here's what you got to do. She's like, you need to get a pair of man's pants and you need to hang them on the end of your bed. And then you pray to God every single night to fill those <laughs> pants with the perfect man. Oh, <laughs> and so then I was like. I hung a pair of women's panties on the end of my bed when I wanted to get married. Uh, and are out. you married? Oh, yeah. And did the woman fit the panties? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Because that was my question for her. <laughs> okay, now that you're in my life, can you try these on? <laughs> right. And she's still married She's appeared right. in them. <laughs> that, see that? Yeah. I had a lot of questions for this lady. It's weird when you flip it around. Well, it's already weird. It is. Yeah, it's already weird. And then I told her, I was like, well... Because I was just like, how do I even respond to this? So I was like, well, I mean, next time I'm home, I'll just use a pair of my dad's. And then she said, no, that's a little weird, sweetie. <laughs> like, that was where the bar was. So you that's have to go to the store and buy yeah. them. Yeah. No, she said to go to Goodwill and get a pair. And I was like, but then do I get a used man? Like, what do I, yeah. like, what happens You never know what this? those pants are going to produce. Yeah. And so, uh, uh, I was That'd like, That'd be yeah. crazy if you could buy a piece of clothing and then... 
and then the person who once owned it would appear in the clothing and you'd find yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> or hold up to a mirror and see who they are, who they were. Right. So if you get scrubs, like yeah. you get a doctor uh, or an orderly, I guess. Yeah. Um, or you get put in an Iron Man suit, get Robert Downey Jr., put a skin, <laughs> pair of skinny jeans, get a worship pastor. That's what I was wondering is the kind of pants you pick. Yeah, like, that's yeah. what I wondered too. Like if you get a huge pair of pants. Yeah. I you get some fubus or whatever. I know. Some t- you got Sean Johns. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be too gangsta. careful with the pants that you hang on the end of your bed. <laughs> So, so yeah, so that was okay. That was weird. And then a lot of people tell me that their like great aunt played the accordion. So I have a tally going at each show for the number of people who tell me that some distant relative played the accordion. And I think eight people at one show had, wow. s- had a connection to the accordion. How big of an so, audience was that? Pretty big. I think oh, it was okay. like a twelve hundred or something. So, yeah. but still, wow, eight and twelve hundred. Yeah. That's a lot of. How many people here have a distant relative? Who played the accordion? I don't think I got anybody. My aunt's, I think my aunt's brother played the accordion, and she had it in the corner hmm. of her house. Your aunt's brother, wouldn't that be aunt. your uncle? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because... She, is he like a half-brother or a step-brother or something? <laughs> she was married. She's married to my... She's my oh, brother. Oh, you know, married I see. Married to my okay. mom's brother. Got you. Um, so it's on the other side. Yeah. Got you. That makes sense. Mm. So I have one. We have one out of okay. Yeah, four. Okay. that yeah. adds up. See? Maybe I don't know math. It's about so. That's and then I own four accordions because I don't ever want to have any friends. You own four accordions. I do. Well, people keep giving them to me now because oh, okay. they I want know. them to mean something. Yeah. So now I just have this growing pile of accordions. This was my great aunt's accordion. My... I want you to have it. They do. It's actually really sweet because the accordions have a lot of history <clears throat> to each instrument. So it is actually a very kind and meaningful thing when someone gives it to you because they trust you're going to kind of keep that legacy alive if you look at the history of accordions and they always come with a story so what are some like what would you not understand like if i've never played an accordion mm-hmm. tell me just give me a brief rundown of how it works what are all these little buttons here uh, that's a piano right there do you understand and music I'm, at all yeah okay so this like a regular keyboard yeah these so that's just a piano the registers so this oh, so is like actually an octave or something uh yeah i'm not sure <laughs> And then it would be, so yeah, oh, okay. I think this one is an octave. And then here, so wherever you yeah. start, I remember, all that. I you're remember all these. flying blind for like the first year of playing and you just That's have to crazy. fish it's around. That's crazy. It's like Braille. It is. Yeah, it's very, very much Can is. Can you see that on the camera? There's so, all these little yeah, buttons, buttons right there. Um, it's so madness. It's single notes and then you have each accordion, uh, each accordion is a little bit different. This is major, minor, and then sevens, and then I think You're doing combinations? This is There's no chords over there. Yeah, so it's chords, so it goes in a, it feels like a You can't do like chords on that side? Well, I mean, you can. But what's the difference? Like, why do that and that? Well, because this will accompany, accompany you, so oh, you can do... So you can do, like, your melody there and your... Or either. Oh, yeah, wow. like that. So, But then it's one chord. If you go up one, it's your five chord. Or if you go down one, it's your four chord. So you have everything you need, for the most part, like, right there. So that when you're good and drunk and playing it. Do they like, make new ones with, like, an air play. pump that's automatic? Like, with a battery-powered air pump, so you don't have to keep doing that? No, but that's a good idea. Yeah, it's it seems like that's the, that's the hardest part. It seems like they're always yeah. struggling to like, do this thing. Uh, yeah, like, I'm trying to play know. a song, but I got to keep pumping air. Yeah, you'd think they would have thought of that because it's like initially it started in pubs when everybody was I've like seen... drunk playing it. So <laughs> it was a very they they put it together very practically for <laughs> when people would be like just half paying attention to what they're doing. But you would think that they would try to minimize the effort. But there's electric accordions now. Oh, so maybe that does that work? I don't know. I've never Is played there air? one. Um. We'll have to find out. You got to get add that to your collection. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to find one. I would guess so, because hmm. or it, it picks up the sensor picks up when you're moving. Kyle's it. googling electric accordions right now. Perfect, <laughs> great. I need more. Accordions. I mean, it still has the uh, you know full. You got to have it. Yeah, I don't know. If it's just is you it. You have to because otherwise cosmetic at that point, or does it? Yeah, I guess I don't know. Or it only turn maybe that powers the battery. You push and then the battery comes on. <laughs> I have only has no enough idea. power to be. That is where my accordion <laughs> knowledge hits a wall. I'm not well. that. My nerdiness has a limit, <clears throat> and that is it. Yeah, it's just a synthesized sound, but it still does the. Uh, the in and but it's not actually doing like yeah. air. It's but just so like okay, chords. I mean, okay. all those buttons. Do you use all those? Uh, is it kind of like a guitar? Like 
there's all these frets, but I rarely use them all. It's only like real crazy virtuosos that go all the way up and down the fretboard. Yeah, yeah, so eventually, yeah, and I usually stick to simpler stuff. I mm. stick to like the worship model of stuff where it's like a one, four, and five, seven chord, and then if I get crazy, I'll add like, you know, a six minor or something like that. So but as an accordion player, how good is Weird Al actually at the accordion? He's good. He's a really, like really good up musician. There? Yeah, yeah. He's a nice. good musician. Because you can't tell if you don't know. Yeah. yeah. I think he's, yeah. He's like your hero. He's good. He is. He's the only <laughs> person who can be in a court, like an yeah. accordion He's comedian. the only modern day <laughs> yeah. accordion and you can look up Judy to. Judy Tenuto, who was okay. around several decades ago, she played the accordion. And then Lawrence Welk is another one hmm. I get. But I don't know that he was funny. I think he just he's was played. like... Had German ancestry, okay, which is funny, I guess, <laughs> in its own right. Yeah, yeah. German stuff's funny. German, I mean, yeah, Germans besides, are always funny. Nothing serious obvious, about Germany. Yeah, yeah, nothing at all. But yeah, sausages. <laughs> they got all these sausages, and sausages yeah. are funny. Well, if you've seen, uh, I went to Germany a couple of years ago, and if you see the, they serve the bratwurst, like this giant bratwurst on yeah. this little tiny bun. That's funny. Like you had to think that they were like, we should do this as a joke for the whole country. <laughs> would have that big huge sausage and itty bitty bread. <laughs> <laughs> That's the keto. Yeah, the keto, the keto exactly. So, ever any regrets about pursuing the accordion? Or? <laughs> well, not until this moment. Yeah. <laughs> not until just, now. Just wondering, you yeah. know. So no, it's worked out pretty. I'm an introvert, so it's kind of my insurance policy. Well, so um, you wrote a lot of books. Oh yeah, your book. We haven't talked about your yeah. book. Yeah, are they good? Are they any good? Eh, sure. They're okay. Yeah. <laughs> Check out her Depends books. on the Amazon People. review you read. Yeah, I like this one. This one's good. Adulting. If you can buy it, so to find adulting royalties, that'd yeah. be great. So adulting for millennials just means doing every doing. Doing normal, grown-up, right. responsible not things, being on the pretty internet. much. Yeah. yeah, not being on Facebook yeah. and stuff. So Adulting. Yeah, it's just kind of my take on uh, those of us who grew up in, like, the, the I call it the golden era of commercial Christianity, where we were yeah. kind of promised all these things if we did X, Y, and Z, and then we get older and we're like, oh... Life is kind of hard, and <laughs> God didn't really. I don't think God promised me that. I think church leaders promised me that, <laughs> and so there's a lot of disillusionment about mm. life and faith. And so this was just my take of just I'm an over observer, mm. uh, and so just years of conversations and observing what people were struggling with, and uh, yeah, and yeah. more burrito references than you'll find in your average Christian market book. So. I don't know. It might be a Guinness a, World Record. It yeah. might be. A yeah. yeah. In a Christian yeah. market book. In a Christian about market adulting. book about, yeah, adulting with a font that makes it look like another word. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. Thanks, well, awesome. thanks for well, the Well, we have another list yeah. of questions for you, Perfect. right? Perfect. We're going to ask. Yeah. We are you doing a, that in this portion? Yeah, let's do it. So okay. last week we We had like a, to reduce people down to just like... Their identity class. Identity class, because that's what whatever. you should do. If you're moral... Intolerant. Mm. You just reduce people to an identity class and take just yeah. completely remove their personality and anything unique about them. So last week we had a, a woman on. Yes. So we asked a woman yeah. mm -hmm. things about women to right. so she would represent all women ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So That's now we have a Christian woman on. Okay. So we're going to ask a Christian woman some questions. Okay. All right. <laughs> you so you now speak for all Christian women. Yeah. Um, how attractive is it when a youth group kid plays guitar? Um, does it have an output to plug into an amplifier? Okay, so like electric versus acoustic? No, an acoustic plugged into an amplifier oh, an is acoustic. pretty, pretty cool too. Okay, so it's got to have an electric input. To output. the acoustic Do women, guitar, because then it's the I feel like as a, a little bit of bad. musician, you understand what that little hole is, but like I think a lot of women don't even know what that yeah. is. What, like the sound hole? Yeah, the sound hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know sound hole. Not the sound hole. <laughs> Is that what you're talking no, about? Not everyone the, has a sound hole. Oh, the quarter inch oh, cable gotcha. plug-in, the guitar cord plug-in. Yeah, gotcha. Like, oh, that's oh a gosh. hybrid uh, acoustic and electric guitar. Yeah. Like, wait, that guy's just got an acoustic. There's no plug-in for an amplifier on that thing. She's, she's he, looking for, like, oh, he's the, kind of the attractive audience, and she looks for it. And it's the like, audience it's he can reach is limited. He's, I want a guy who can reach it at a stadium. Yeah. Um, 
Sure. Yes. Okay. Yes. It is, it <laughs> is I attractive because it shows that he's put some time and effort into something. I think we had a, than... we had an o- overemphasis on it, like in youth group. Like we felt mm-hmm. like this is going. So to... you felt like as guys, if you played the guitar, it would like increase a, your chances like with the youth group girls. Flocks of. Women. It makes you seem very in tune with your spiritual side. Flocks you're of little... women in polo shirts and culottes yeah. would be <laughs> it, chasing you. I mean, it feels like you're a little alternative. You're not the mm-hmm. jock guy. You're like right, a little right. thoughtful. You don't totally. Really play by the rules. Yeah, you're yeah. A musician, little edgy. I guess. I don't know, yeah, something edgy yeah. there. But if you were a jock guy who did play the guitar, that too, that would be the total stop package. everything. Yeah, like, total oof. package. Yeah. yeah. There's no competing with that guy. Yep. It's a good thing they're usually dumb. You're mm-hmm. married before you get out of college. Mm-hmm. You got any tips for getting girls for our young youth group listener, kid listeners? Yeah, other than guys, guitar I assume. Um, How do you track? Play guitar, I guess. Okay. <laughs> don't play the accordion. Um, <laughs> don't play the accordion. Does it still work to carry on to skateboard? I remember when I was in high school. Yeah, the skateboard. If you carry a skateboard around, you don't have to ride it. You just carry it around. You just carry it around. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I haven't seen a lot of. I actually lead a youth group, uh, which was a bad idea. Never put an accordion playing comic in (laughs) charge of a bunch of adolescents. All gather for worship. Yes. (laughs) That's how you control them. It's funny. There's only two kids left. You ever so do that? Probably worship? won't. Can you play worship songs? Can you play on worship songs on your accordion? I can, but the, if just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. <laughs> <laughs> like a polka version of In the Secret. Let's I've been lobbying for a polka service at our church, like and that. so we can yeah. do oceans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just, what we should do is uh, we should do a worship generator song. Worship song yeah, generator. there you go. How are we gonna not, we're gonna do that? Yes. We're absolutely Feels like we gonna have do to. That. That's I gonna know. happen. Yeah. Spirit led worship. We have a worship song generator on our website. It, gen- it automatically generates an AI, but well not really, randomized worship song. Oh, there we go. And so then just make you just play a tune and sing. sing I really want to do a hill song audition video with okay. the accordion. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Spirit, lead me where my trust is. With like, <laughs> rah, rah. <laughs> be like, I'm, this will give you trust issues. Yeah. <laughs> um, is modest really hottest? Um, as someone who has grown up in Texas, uh, literally, yes, it is. Okay. Modest is hottest, okay. and we need modest girl deodorants <laughs> to go with. <laughs> so you're saying modest clothing. Wise. Modest is sweatiest. Yeah, I was speaking literally. Modest oh, is hottest. Oh, yeah, oh, temperature. Temperature wise. Temperature. Wise. temperature. So yes. I'm probably... You see what she did there? <laughs> temperature. Yeah. Temperature. It, not a good joke if you have to explain it <laughs> to somebody who does jokes for a living. <laughs> Doesn't mean I always get jokes. Yeah, that's true. So yes, uh, <clears throat> literally, it is. When a girl says she's breaking up with you to date God, what's that really mean? Just confrontation issues. <laughs> <laughs> she's nice. Date God. Do women really yes. date God? I've, I've heard dating thing. Jesus. I've heard mm. dating God too. I've heard. Mm. I've never mm. heard dating God. I've heard date Jesus, which I'm like, but that's awkward when I go into a restaurant. Or like my date's gonna pay. <laughs> like what? It's just. <laughs> yeah, he weird. always goes Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that yeah. means when you don't pay? He never yeah. pays himself. Yeah. Himself, yeah. Good, yeah. Yep. That's Jesus exactly. goes Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> never opens the door for you, man. Um, does it work if you go up to if a guy goes up to a girl and says, "Jesus told me that you are the one for me"? Only if he's told the girl. Too, because otherwise it's like I didn't get the memo. <laughs> yeah, that sounds. Weird. It was a he or, forgot. To, I was not cc'd on that email. Yeah. But if he's a if he's a jock that plays guitar, oh then, then you're absolute, probably on board. Then yeah, you just oh yeah, God told me that too. That's yeah, just, that's good I just discernment got a right revelation. there. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, no debate there. All right. Well, I guess that's all I have for Ask a Christian Woman. Do we have any, anything else we want to know from those were very, Christian women? Those were deep, solid yeah, questions, really guys. Deep. Real. <laughs> real. You guys really uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. thought those through. It was good. As a Christian girl, I feel very uh, understood right now. Don't you? We just, the, the core of all we the issues. The, we got to the heart of <laughs> Right <it>. there. <laughs> All the things we blogged about in like the early 2000s, you guys hit we right nailed there. Yeah. Hey, you play the accordion. I do. All right, let's do some uh, hate mail. (laughs) Perfect. When you scroll Facebook and you count on Facebook to give you the content that you want to read, 
It's like you're going up to Mark Zuckerberg every morning, knocking on his door and saying, Hey, Mark Zuckerberg, what should I read this morning? Or you could just support the Babylon Bee. Babylonbee.com slash plans. You can subscribe. You get full-length podcasts, ad-free podcasts. You get ad-free web browsing on our site, premium content. At certain levels, you even get access to a little social network that our friends at Not The Bee have created. Yeah, be part of the community, the in crowd, yeah. the bee crowd. I really miss Adam Ford. Can you do a hate mail jingle for us? Yeah. Hate mail. Babylon B hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> no, with the accordion. Oh, you have to like do all this clipping. Like, yeah. She's working on it. Man, it's, it's like a, a switchblade. Diva. Or it's not a switchblade. It's like a... Uh, no, switchblades are way more Yeah, they're efficient. fast. Don't ask how I know. It's like hate mail. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and then wait, you have to get this part. Uh, the loud <laughs> sigh. <laughs> that sounds like me on the phone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I um, played in church one time and the pastor prayed right after worship ended and all you could hear was the <laughs> that <going. laughs> That's why I don't play in church anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so we got a hate mail from a guy named Michael. Michael. And he says, do you scum actually think it's funny to make fun of the COVID Delta surge that's killing people? You are nothing but an unfunny ripoff of The Onion written by hack, juvenile, amateurish, trump-tards who wouldn't qualify to write for a high school newspaper. <laughs> Is a trump-tard like a gymnastics outfit you'd wear to like a, like a right, right-wing <laughs> jazzercise class? You rip off the warm-ups? <laughs> my trump-tard. Wearing my trump-tard. <laughs> <laughs> that could also be an instrument. A trump-tard. Trump tard. Play it and it just has a Trump quote. <laughs> it's not to be confused with the Trump card. <laughs> Deplorable. Play the Trump card. I don't know. Play the Trump card or the Trump card. Hey, we got another hate um, mail. This is a, a tweet from uh, a guy named Brandon. Off brand Brandon. Imagining like a nice Lutheran mom following the Babylon Bee on Facebook because they were thrilled to see actually funny, good natured satire of evangelical culture and biblical stories. <gasps> Only to watch them descend into hateful, unfunny, fascist agitprop in like three years. How long have we been around? Five years. Okay. Yeah. So we got two yeah. years of agitprop. I want to know what fascist satire would look like. Like yeah. if not, like if <laughs> yeah. Germany did satire. <laughs> <laughs> Germany sure they have it. You got to find it. Yeah. I don't they have propaganda. They don't get stuff. enough yeah. sunlight for satire there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, sorry, Brandon. We've disappointed you. Oh, let's go into the subscriber lounge and everybody yeah, check out uh, Christian's stand up comedy check and check out Christian's books, books and, and accordion. accordion playing and comedy. He's got over 27 albums of accordion music you can find. <laughs> That's but right. Maybe not. But for sale for five payments of 99 five. cents. <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you get all of them. <laughs> What's your top Spotify play? Would you have songs on Spotify? I do not. Oh, I don't what? have anything. On, I have YouTube. Okay. That's, that's where we're at right now with my career. So check me out before well, I get the big to, time now. I mean, that's where yeah. everybody gets. That's where everything is. Yeah. I have that. I have a website. I have Facebook and Instagram. I have a Twitter. I'm not on it much because I value happiness. That's mm. true. Um, and then I haven't gotten into TikTok because apparently they're trying to steal our identities. And mm. I can't wait till China invades and they have our identities and they come and doing all these dances. <laughs> 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 all right, well, let's go over. We're going to go to the uh, lounge. lounge. Yeah. We're going to kick back. We're going to talk with uh, Kristen a little bit more and we're going to ask her the 10 questions. Yay. And do some more. So we'll do a song. We'll do a worship song on the accordion. Coming up next for Babylon B subscribers. It's like an instrument created by committee. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it's like the Homer car in the Simpsons where he's got like, he wants every feature on it. Yeah. yeah. What about a cup holder? Yeah. Let's get a cup holder on it. I would like to have a serious conversation with Snoop Dogg mm -hmm. just about wow. life. I feel like he's got some good stuff going on in his head. And then. He'd probably want you to light up when you do that with him? Huh? He'll probably want you to light up and smoke with him when you do that. He can. Okay. I won't. He might not open up to because you Because I work issue. for a church and people might be watching this. Yeah. Wondering what they'll say next? The rest of this podcast is in our super exclusive premium subscriber lounge. Go to BabylonB.com slash plans for full-length ad-free podcasts. 
Kyle and Ethan would like to thank Seth Dillon for paying the bills, Adam Ford for creating their job, the other writers for tirelessly pitching headlines, the subscribers, and you, the listener. Until next time, this is Dave D'Andrea, the voice of the Babylon Bee. 